Are you sure you don't want me to carry a bag? It's really no trouble for a man me size to carry a wee bit more. Ah, right, right. Some items give a sense of comfort just carrying them. I suppose at a time like this you'd want them close, even what's been your own these past few. How long you been on this island? Remarkable they've been here so long and ain't been done in by a snake or something. Even knows all the chislers I ever seen was dumb enough to yank a bull's tail till they went crying for ma with injuries. How old are you anyway, lad? Well, that's a relief. Most of the dumb ones who got themselves hurt were a lot younger. Maybe they're old enough to have some sense in the old noggin. Huh? Oh, name? Lad, as far as you're concerned, my name is Captain, and don't you forget it. Still, good to know they have enough manners to ask. Be trouble if they didn't have a shred of social graces. Not much further now, so don't go complaining about your weary legs. In fact, let's take a small detour. Noticed it earlier. Great view there, and I want to show you something. Feast your eyes on me pride and joy. A ship fit for a great pirate if you ever saw one. The sunset cast in a golden glow fit for the moment as it rests anchored just offshore. That there, my boy, is the emasculated wimp. Stop laughing! I didn't name the bloody thing. <sighs> you can blame me all pa for the sissy moniker. Well, I can't change it now. Having the name of your ship known around the islands is mighty important in this business. Besides, I made a promise to the old man not to rename it when he passed the ship down to me. <sighs> Me old pa put a lot more faith in that fortune-telling malarkey than I do. Long story short, someone told him naming the ship that would save the life of its captain one day. And well, I always keep me promises to family, I. No matter how many jokes get made at me expense. Now come on, best get down to the shore and start rowing out there. What a whole lot of daylight left. How strong are your arms, by the way? I already rode out here once. Maybe I figure it's your turn. Well, even if that's all just bluster, I guess firing them out will make it easier to get them to go to sleep later. In fact, how about we make things a wee bit more interesting, lad? If you can make the trip faster than I did, I'll answer one question for you. No if, ands, or buts. And if not, you do so for me. Not that I recorded how long it took in the first place. Sorry to cheat you, lad. But I gotta start getting some of my questions answered. And as captain, the crew will back me up when I say I was faster. Great. It's a pledge, then. What, have you never seen one of these before? You spit into your own palm and then we shake hands on it. Now I'll hold you to that, mind you. Oh, you think you got what it takes then? Well, prove me wrong, lad. We've just about made it to where I left the rowboat. Let's get this thing back in the water and make it back to me ship. Mighty fine effort there, lad. But I can already tell I outpaced you on the trip. Yeah, right. I know I'm getting on in years and I ain't in great shape. But even in me prime, I couldn't hold a candle to this kid. Raise the rowboat, lads. Oh, boy. How am I going to explain the lack of treasure to them? Can't believe I didn't think of this until now. Well... Time to pull out all the reliable and bluster me way through everything with a lot of hot air. Evening, boys. Seems old Brando was a wee bit more clever than I thought. Turns out the map only led to clues about where to find the next map. I figure this kid here is part of it all. 
I don't want to sail back here to get them if they turn out to be important. So, welcome aboard the emasculated wimp lad. Oh, right. Made a bit of a wager with this wee one on my way over. The kid was the one rowing on the way back, and I'd like your honest opinion. Which I've trained them to know means play along. Has your captain still got it? Did he paddle the rowboat faster than this one? Look at all them raised hands. I guess it means you owe me that answer I wanted. Ah, jeez, that defeated look really tugs on the old heartstrings it does. But you know what? You did come mighty close, and that means a lot to me it does. So what say we start off this whole you sticking around thing? with a bit of generosity and answer one of your questions, too. Aye, lad, I really mean it. But I have a question of my own you got to answer after, mind you. Ah, uh, I should have known they'd ask about that. Well, I didn't hear it from the horse's mouth exactly. But word is old Brando got about twenty years for what he did. But the high seas be a mighty chaotic place. Many a thing can go down to get someone out again before the sentence is done. Well, that didn't cheer him up at all now, did it? I was aiming to keep me next destination a secret a little while longer. Something tells me that ain't the right move to make here. Look, kid, I have to admit. I wasn't too thrilled about having you on board. Truth is, one of the first things I'm gonna do is go find Brando. Spring him out if I can and palm you off to your pa like it should be. If not, well, he better give me some good answers about why he set all this up. He knew damn well it was an extremely risky venture he went on. If he had someone to care for like this, he'd have never done something that reckless. Practically guaranteed arrest it was. So chin up, I. If I have my way, you'll be back with Brando before you know it. What a relief. Kid actually looks comforted by that. Now, as for me own question. What's the story with this whole deserted island business? If I were to guess he was hiding from someone. Mind if I ask who? What's this? Some kind of drawing? Ah, the old classic. Stick figure family of the kid holding hands with his ma and pa. Wait. Ooh. Book me a minute. This ain't no wholesome family drawing. What kind of kid draws them ma with devil horns for one thing? I mentioned Brando's in handcuffs. Might not know the exact situation. This woman is definitely trouble. You don't want her anywhere near your child, do you, Brando? Oh, Brando's really the only option here. All right, well, even assuming the best about everything, it'll take a while to reach Brando. You'll be on me ship for a while to come, and I expect you to earn your keep. First things first, let's pay Clef a visit. We'll see if you can't be some help preparing tonight's dinner. Evening, Clef. Take this kid off me hands for a while, would you? Got some orders to give and some arrangements to make. See if you can't make a decent kitchen hand out of him. I know it's scary leaving what's probably been your home for a long time, but I can't have you clinging to me leg like this. I'm the captain. I'll have things to do sometimes, and this is one of those times. Besides, if you're a good lad, I'll have Clef make you something sweet. I know we've got a barrel of sugar in the hold somewhere. I grant permission to use some if you behave yourself. Not quite sure what treats you could make with the other supplies we got left, but I'm sure Clef's skills are up to the challenge. Believe me, he'll manage something, that man. 
All right, try to be helpful while I'm gone, I. All right. Organize a team to go collect those barrels of supplies. And whatever else of use the kid had in that cabin. Lord knows we could use the resupply. After that, I'd best find a place for the little one to sleep. Doesn't seem like a good idea for them to bunk with the rest of the crew.